Hello everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to fix a little problem with the Essential Grid light box. Essential Grid is a plugin from Theme Punch Company, the company behind uh, Slider Revolution and this uh, plugin here, Essential Grid. Um, the problem with the light box is that when you click on an image in your grid to get the light box or to see a bigger size image, you will end up with with two layers of the same image or two overlapped light box and you need to click twice to get rid of that. So let me show you what I mean. If I go here to my website mariko.com, you can see I got a lot of uh, images grid in here. If I click in any image, say this one for example here, you will see I got this image here. If I click once, the image is still there. I need to click twice to get rid of that. So let me try another one. You will end up with two uh, light boxes. This is one and this is another one. Again, if I click here, I get two layers. I have to click once. If I click once, the first light box disappears. Then I need to click twice to get rid of that. To How to fix this problem? If you search the Google, by the way, you will, you will end up with a lot of solutions here. Believe me, none of them will work. And if I click in the first one, duplicate items in the light box, it will take me to Theme Punch website and it, give you, it will give me this solution here. And if you try this one, this one here, it won't work. Okay, it will ask you to go inside here, inside uh, the skin itself and try to do something, but it won't work. So if I go back, try another one, the second one here, again, it will take me to the theme punch website, double light boxes here, and it will ask you to put this code here and this code here. And if it's not working, try this one. If not, then try this one and do this and do that. And again, believe me, none of them will work. So how are we gonna fix that? The funny thing that the solution is an essential grid options here, but it's a little bit tricky. And I think essential grid need to go back and update their documentation, by the way. So if I go over here to essential grid, global setting, you will see something here called select light box type. And if you click this drop down menu, you will see default light box and disable light box. But why in the world you will need to disable the light box? You, you need to have the light box because you need to, when you click on an image, okay, to see the light box. So you will never think that I will go here and disable this one. But in fact, if you disable this one here, disable this light box and click save setting. If you go back here, I'm sorry here, okay, if I refresh, Okay, here, if I click an image, click once, it's gone. Again, once, it's gone. This one too. So what was the problem? The problem, I think, um, that the theme I'm using, I'm using uh, Astra theme, uh, by the way. Uh, the, the, the Astra theme got the default light box and the essential grid got their own light box. So I end up using both of them. So the, the best solution is disable the essential grid light box because you might use the, the, the default light box which comes with, it, with your theme in different pages or different places. So it's easy to disable this one than disabling the, the, the light box comes with um, uh, your theme. But if you don't have this problem, if you're not facing this problem, that, that means that your theme doesn't use the light box by default. So this is guys how you fix this problem which is very uh, very simple, very easy, and I hope that Essential Grid, they can update their documentation. But in a way, it's, uh, it's uh, very nice uh, plugins, very amazing plugins to do a lot of things, and um, I love it. But in a way, so uh, guys, this is how you fix it, and if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, and see you next time.